Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, here we got a view of the web camera there at Old Faithful. It's currently two degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the camera keeps stopping and going. I had noticed this area here, which seems to have heated up in the last couple of months. You know, the camera wasn't working for a while, so we couldn't see what was going on. But um, this is obvious. We have a heating from under the ground of a soil. But what I want to talk about today is uh, the earthquake activity. It doesn't really matter if it's a regular earthquake from uplift or if it's movement from tectonics. It's still all the same. It's an earthquake. And I'm going to explain that to you. USGS doesn't list earthquakes generally on the weekend unless it's a magnitude 2.5 or greater. Yesterday there was a 1.2 earthquake. It says Western Montana. Right there. Um, also yesterday a 1.6 at Hedgen Lake. Um, a 0 0.7 also yesterday Hedgen Lake. Looks like we got a small earthquake swarm going on. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, there we go. Um, a 1.1 the day before. That was on the 21st. Um, a 1.3 also on the 21st. And that's all they're showing for the last week in this location. And I'll pull, pull it out. Now this one up here, that was on the 20th, a uh, 1.0. A 1.1 on the 20th, um, the 19th, a 0 0.2. And then there by the promontory, I've been talking about the promontory, a 0 0.8. That was on the 17th. Here we have the spectrogram. This is what I pulled this morning. Up here we have the borehole at Yellowstone Lake. That's up by the fishing bridge. This middle monitor that's also from a borehole, but that is at Norris Junction. And then we got, oops, excuse me, Little West Thumb. This is a tectonic earthquake. Just like the Ring of Fire, you know we have major earthquakes around uh, the Ring of Fire and volcanic eruption. This, the same thing is going on at Yellowstone. Well, tectonic plates moving? How can that possibly be happening at Yellowstone? Eons ago, when the Earth was all one continent, here we have North America, Africa, South America, Pangaea. Those plates moved around and formed what we now have as the United States. The North American Craton is part of that original continent from Pangaea. And because of the sliding around of the uh, different continents, we got um, a, a fault line through here. This is when land masses moved up from the west, which we got the Farlon plate, which has broken up, and part of that's all the way down by South America now. But this brown line right along here next to the pink is similar to what we have with the Ring of Fire. And we have tectonic movement, tectonic earthquakes. Wikipedia has a paper, a page about volcanic tectonic earthquakes. A volcano tectonic earthquake as an earthquake caused by the movement of magma beneath the surface of the earth. The movement results in pressure changes where the rock around the magma has experienced stress. You know, there's some areas there at Yellowstone where the magma, the pockets of magma, are only 600 feet below the surface. This is why we can have smaller earthquakes preceding a large eruption at Yellowstone compared to outside of the magma chamber where they would have much larger earthquakes. The reason they have smaller earthquakes there in the Yellowstone Park area because the ground is so brittle from uplift. At some point, this stress can cause a rock to break or move. This seismic activity is used by scientists to monitor volcanoes. The earthquakes may also be related to dike intrusions or occur as earthquake swarms. Now remember, in the middle of Yellowstone Lake, we have a crack 
under the lake that extends all the way down towards the promontory where magma intrusion is trying to break through. We have spreading going both east and west. And the scientists know that this dike intrusion that's trying to break through is of rhyolite, the most explosive type of magma you possibly could have for a volcanic eruption. In the past at Yellowstone, there's been other dike intrusions that actually broke through and built up different tufts of ash, um, etc. there at the park. Cause of volcano tectonic earthquakes. One possible scenario resulting in a possible volcano tectonic earthquake is tectonic subduction zone. The compression of plates at these subduction zones force the magma beneath them to move. Magma cannot move through the newly compressed crust in as easily a manner. This means it tends to pull in magma chambers beneath the surface and between the converging tectonic plates. Many of the famous and most well-known volcanoes fall in this line, including the Ring of Fire. As the plates move, magma underground may be forced in and out of these chambers. This movement is capable of causing the unstable earth around it to cave in or shift. The movement of this magma, as described, causes measurable seismic activity. This is separate from earthquakes directly related to faults. This here is a tectonic earthquake. It's still an earthquake, just a different type of earthquake. So we still have this rift going through from when the um, Juan de Fuca plate and slammed up against North American Craton, the different movement of the different plates. But that rift is still there. And as you know, the North American plate is slowly moving southwest. This is why the hot spot along the Snake River Plateau is slowly moving northeast. So here is that earthquake as it came in at Norris Junction. This is its signature if I make it larger and move it horizontally a little bit. This is the same signature at um, West Thumb, and I'm going to make it larger. And there you can see it is a tectonic earthquake. And I'll move it horizontally a little bit. Afterwards, we had what's called blobs of magma that rose up and came into the system. This is from West Thumb. And I'll show you this right there. And then afterwards, there was another, oh, several small earthquakes. And this was a regular fault type earthquake. I'll make it larger for you. And we'll do it horizontally. This was not a tectonic earthquake. This was a fault earthquake that happened on a fault line. Here's two more earthquakes. These are actual earthquake, fault line earthquakes that occurred at West Thumb. See the difference? It's not like a rounded out circle in the front before the earthquake. The second one very well could be a small tectonic earthquake. See how it's rounded out? But this one is not. Here we have two more very small earthquakes. These are earthquakes, not tectonic. These are earthquakes along fault zones at Yellowstone Lake. I'll make that bigger. See the difference? But it still means magma is on the move um, because of the tectonic plate movement. And I've talked about how the plates are moving. And I'll pull this over. USGS writes off, tries to downplay what's going on at Yellowstone, saying that the tectonic earthquakes are nothing to worry about, that it's a completely separate thing when it's not. They're both one and the same, so to speak. This is why along the Ring of Fire you have such large eruptions. And here's the earthquake signature. See how that one's rounded? 
Let's take a look at this one right here. This one too looks like to be a tectonic earthquake. But it still brings up the magma. The magma is being compressed and squished and brought up through that fault zone at the magma chamber. Here we have drum beats from the magma movement. And that is West Thumb. Blobs of magma coming up there. Dyke intrusion. Another tectonic earthquake underneath the volcano of Yellowstone. That's it right there. And that was at West Thumb. This one here is Norris Junction. That's where all the earthquake swarms happen. And I'll pull it down to this one right here. Now this is uh, yesterday. No, this is today, this morning. Um, universal time. Let's see, 45 minutes after Universal. This would be considered volcanic earthquakes before and after. Now about an hour after the tectonic earthquake, we had a regular earthquake along the fault line because it's putting pressure up, pushing up magma coming up into the caldera. That's that earthquake right there at West Thumb. And I'll extract this one here at Yellowstone Lake. See the difference? Yeah, it's not large and round. It's like, boom. We got a P wave on this one. That's the first wave of the earthquake as it came in. It goes directly through the earth, where the second one is the S wave, which goes around the outside of the earth. This was a very small earthquake. Again, a little thumb, which is a little bit bigger. See that? See the difference? This was an actual earthquake caused by the magma coming up into the magma chamber that was originally caused by a tectonic earthquake, which was this one right here. That's the tectonic earthquake, and this is the one that created a regular earthquake. Yeah, Yellowstone Lake, where we got that fault line, the widening, just like we have magma coming up and widening of the earth out in the ocean. Same thing is going on there at Yellowstone Lake. Again, there's that first one, uh, 35 minutes after midnight, universal time. That's the tectonic earthquake. There's its signature and its spectrogram. And here is that second earthquake, 139, 138, 139. Here's some more earthquakes. You can see this one was probably tectonic. Um, some of them were not. This one was not. That one was not. Let me make this larger and see about that first one there on that line. Yeah, that one was not. That was a regular earthquake. And that is from this line right here at Yellowstone Lake. Let me pull this one here. Yeah, see Those are earthquakes, not tectonic earthquakes, but fault-driven earthquakes, making that ground up above more brittle as the magma comes into the system. Here's some more. Let me make that bigger so you can see them. See, these are regular small micro-earthquakes. Let me pull this over to this other one. See that? So USGS loves to downgrade downplay these earthquakes that are happening saying oh they're they're different they're completely different um they are in a sense one's caused by the movement of the continents and the other is along the fault lines but earthquakes are still earthquakes and the mechanism that's going on um the ground breaking 
the fault lines cracking because of the pressure of the magma coming up into the magma chamber. Yeah, that's still very significant. That's very important. And down here, this is Yellowstone Lake. This one here is West Thumb. And this is Norris Junction. All right, yesterday there was other earthquakes. Um, 1720. But they're not reporting that one. They're only reporting a 1.6 yesterday and a 0 0.7 yesterday. Both of those by Hebben Lake. You know, that's like USGS saying they're not going to report the earthquakes that happen along the Ring of Fire. Let's say um, Australia, Indonesia, uh, the Philippines, etc. This was, a, in fact, a tectonic earthquake. And there's the spectrogram. It's still bringing up hot magma. It's still heating up the pockets of the ground. There's a line of melt. Like I said, there's there's areas in the park where there's pockets of melt, which is only about 600 feet under where people are walking. This monitor here on the left, that is the monitor at the fishing bridge, Yellowstone Lake. Uh, this one here is the monitor for Norris Junction. And this is Little Thumb. Where they have that crack, that fault, that dike intrusion of rhyolite that's trying to break through. That's that earthquake right there. That one there is Norris Junction. So we know it occurred up there and that's where they have um, earthquake swarms often. This one here is West Thumb. And this one here is um, Yellowstone Lake. Now, just by looking at this, this probably occurred over there by Sawtooth. And we'll extract that. Right there. That was a regular earthquake. It's got a P wave on it. First wave, P wave that goes through directly through the earth. The S wave afterwards, which goes around the outside of the earth. That was a regular earthquake. And they're not reporting that earthquake. It was yesterday at 1706. Yep, they're not reporting it. Anyways, here's some more earthquakes that they did not report. These are regular earthquakes. This is at Yellowstone Lake. Um, this one here is that little thumb. We got one that came in at both. And up here is Norris Junction. I'll extract that and show you that these are, in fact, regular earthquakes and not tectonic earthquakes. See that? I'll pull this over. And a current view of the webcam. Yeah, we got some buffalo. Looks like there's some babies down there. Um, if any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Yeah, look how dark that gray that is right there. Yep, and the only time it's gray like that is when you have melted material, the rock, Coming up with the steam. Yeah, I don't think there's a fire over there. Um, that's melted rock. That is very dark. Look at that. So if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.